Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen, where I guide you through creating a little piece of art using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. Today I'm using a two inch by two inch Zen Tangle brand tile, a Micron 05 pen, a Tortillon for blending, and a graphite pencil for shading. Today we're doing Cruffle, which was created by Sandy Hunter, a Zentangle teacher. All right, I'm gonna start with pencil. And for this one, we need to make a series of circles. And I'm starting with pencil just because sometimes circles are a little bit tricky and people are unhappy with their design because their circles look like ovals. It really doesn't matter, but if you wanna start with pencil, you can. So I'm just going to start with a couple of large circles about the size of a dime. I'll put one there. I really want them to touch. Right there. And then I'll put another one right here. I like to start with my large ones first, and then I want to add a couple of smaller ones. And these smaller ones are about the size of the end of a pen, the end of a micron pen. Put one over here. Okay. Vary the sizes so you've got some large ones. I'm gonna make this one here a little bit larger, actually. Okay, I think that's where I want mine. So now I'm gonna pick up my pen and I'm gonna start tracing these shapes. I'm gonna pick the largest one, not worrying about making a perfect circle. Again, I like to have mine touching. These are also fun if you make them go behind each other and kind of overlap a little bit. But for today, I want mine just kind of bumping into each other. Don't forget to vary the size. And I'm going to add one more down here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of these areas in between. So where my circles touch and I've got this little crevice, I'm going to take my pen and ink those in. I add some depth by making it dark back there. Okay. If you have a crevice that's really large, you can just sneak a little circle inside it. All right, I'm going to stop right there. And now to make cruffle, um, we put an S shape from one end to the other end of these circles. So I'm just gonna start kind of in the upper right hand corner and I'm just gonna follow along for a second and then curve and come down here. It makes that yin yang shape. And then I'm gonna turn my tile and do another one and I don't want the lines to all match, so I want them to go different directions. Again, making that S shape right through the middle. You can always practice this on a piece of scrap paper if that helps. 
again changing the direction of these these are so fun to make okay all of my s's are in okay now i'm gonna find the corner the pointy corner of one of these shapes and i'm gonna put my pen right in that corner and then i'm gonna come up in aura on the in side of this sort of teardrop shape and come right back down to the point i'm gonna do it again start at that point come up or the inside and come back down. Now I'm gonna to go to the point on the other side, which should be the opposite of that first point, and come up, aura inside, and tuck back in. Do it again, just like that. If you've got room to put another one in there, go ahead. On this one, I might be able to sneak in one more, just like that. I pick my next one, I go to that point, come in an aura, and aura. If you go online to tanglepatterns.com, um, I think it was Sandy, right? Sandy Hunter? Yeah, she has um, like 150 ways to make cruffle. So you can do so many different things inside these halves of the shapes. You could add a flower, you could add um, dots, lines, stripes. Like there's so many things that you can do. Kind of like the motion of just making these auras. All right, I'm going to do all the larger ones. And a couple of the medium ones. And if you want to leave one half open, you can. So on these small ones, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to come in and put a couple of a line and then a couple of dots. It's like two little flux shapes are hugging. Come in from that curve and put some dots. Just to give you an idea of something else that you can do on these. They're so pretty. All right, and because this is a mono tangle, meaning I've only done one shape, I'm not, you know, adding this to a larger picture. I like to add some flourishes when I'm done. So I'm gonna put this flux shape around the outside in a couple different places. So I just make this little loop, looks like an upside down teardrop, put in a line and two dots. Another one this way, I'm gonna make that one a little bit larger. They're just kind of cute poking out of here. There. And there. Now I ended up with this little crevice, so I'm gonna go ahead and ink that in. Put a couple this way again. Being intentional, meaning just look at how large or how small you want those, what kind of space you're filling in. Now this one may have got room, maybe I'll do a third coming up here. Aren't those so pretty? Do a couple more.
And I'm gonna add some fescue, which is my favorite. So fescue is just a curve with a little dot or a teardrop at the end. And those can come off of the circles or off of the flux, wherever you want them. Those always add so much. And you can crisscross them. You can make them go the same direction. Like right here, I'll put a large one and then underneath it, I'll tuck in a little baby one. So even going the same direction, they look cute. Okay, I'm pretty much done. But in some of these larger areas where I've got a bit of a, of a space, I can add a circle just to sort of even some of these areas out. And if I add one, I can ink in if there's any room underneath it or around it. Just that little bit adds so much. What I love about this is I don't even remember where the top of my pattern is. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to pick up my graphite pencil and do a little bit of shading. So shading for this, I'm going to put some graphite on that inside edge of each of these larger cruffles. Going a little bit fast right now so I can get this done in 15 minutes. I often take just as long to shade as I do to draw because it's such a fun and relaxing way to finish off your tile. So I'm putting that shading right along the inside edge making sure I don't leave a little white gap. I really want that pencil to go right up snug against that edge. Okay, now I'm going to tackle a couple of these medium or small ones. And even my little tiny one, I'm just going to put a little bit in. I don't want to be very heavy handed on those. And then my flux shapes where it comes down to a point, I'm going to just add some graphite right down snug in there. Even on the smallest ones, just a little bit of graphite. Okay, pick up my blending tool, my tortillon, and I'm going to softly make little circles kind of pulling that graphite out towards the middle of my shape, but leaving the middle of the shape nice and bright white. Smoothing that out so you have the darkest parts along the edge and it gets lighter towards the middle. And look at how those really start to take some 3D shape. They look like little marbles that are tucking down into the darkness with the light up on top. After I get those done, I'm going to take my flux shapes and just push that out a tiny bit towards the middle. And that makes those look like they're dipping down in and coming up towards the light. And that is it. It looks so pretty. So that is Cruffle. Remember to initial your work. Always initial your work. And on the back, add a date. 
and then a one line journal entry of something going on in your life, something you're thinking about, something on your heart. But it's always fun to go back and look at these tiles and remember what was going on when we were making them. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy.